Hi there. Welcome to Tuesday Talk. It's my favorite night of the week. I get to slow it down a little bit and do a little uh, painting and some crafting. So tonight we are going to personalize it. Um, I offered this as a class at my store where we um, take a leather purse or in this case, I think this is vinyl um, and paint it and then put transfers on it. We also have a reboot class coming up as well. Um, but I decided to do uh, the purse one since it's already in the past, but I decided to do it um, on here. I may offer it again as a class, but um, I figured this way, if you take the class, yes, you get the instruction free tonight, but if you take the class, you also get except for your purse, you get the stuff that you need, uh, the paint and the transfers to uh, make it beautiful. So um, you still get a bargain if you take the class, but tonight we're just gonna to do this. And if you have anything, um, a purse, and if you have the equipment at home, you can do it along with me. Um, so I'm gonna use this purse that is a Nine West purse. I started on the bottom already. But I've been using this purse all summer long, and I figure I'm ready to go for the winter. So I'm keeping the straps and everything um, the same. So I need to figure out something new to put in here. I kept the Nine West thing in there all that time, and it's like, I don't know. What do you guys put in your purses <laughs> and those things? It, it's supposed to be your information if you get... Uh, if your purse gets lost, but, um, I don't know. <laughs> so I am going to put the screen down a little bit over here and start painting. Um, like I said, I started on the bottom just so I could stand it up right, but I'm going to lay it down a little bit for now. I left all my stuff in it because <laughs> I figured that way it would be nice and sturdy. So I'm using Dixie Belle's Muscadine Wine. Um, I just thought that was a nice deep color for the fall. I'm covering up stitching and everything over here. It almost looks like it's only gonna need one coat, but we'll see how that goes. This almost feels like a fabric with them. Um, a vinyl over it. I mean, I know it's not leather. Must a brush hair. So I hope everybody's doing well. And I just thought of something at being eight o'clock, the polls are closed. So I did my duty and voted today. And now we just wait it out, right? Okay. So I also have a couple demos to get ready for, a couple paint demos. I have, um, I'm filming the Around the Allegheny show tomorrow so i'm um, showing them how to do buffalo plaid on there so i'm taking a little bit of a flat brush uh, to give it some detail whether we can see this right or not um just going around that strap so Use a bigger, um, bigger brush and a bigger area, but here I'm going to use this smaller one. So we had a little snow the other day, Monday. And <laughs> now it's supposed to get up to 67 later in the week. So that's life in Pennsylvania for you. 
feel free to say hi and let me know where you're from. Oh, okay, so this strap comes down. That would make my life a little easier here. And I'm just gonna run this up to the top and I have some baby wipes here. So if I get it on anywhere that I don't want it, I'll just use that. And again, I'm just painting over the stitching on there, so I'm not worrying about that. So far, I really like it. I'm going to go ahead and get this area where the strap is so I can flip that back over. Well, um, I don't want to get any paint on it, so kind of hold it out for a little bit. <laughs> I think it's going to be really pretty. And then I also brought some um, transfers from the botanical, vintage botanical um, transfer from Redesign with Prima. I am actually currently working on a furniture piece that I'm using that I always loved um, botanical prints anyway. And these are gorgeous. So I can't wait to show them to you. Like I said, I've already used some of them. And I've been showing sneak paint peeks on my Instagram. And it was also on the Redesign with Prima page. Um, but the piece is not done yet, so I'm still working on it. So I have to finish this piece tonight since it's my first and I didn't take the stuff out of it. <laughs> So I can still sort of see the pattern underneath, so it might need another one. But then also, keep in mind, we're going to put a transfer over it. So, okay, I'm going to turn this a little bit. I'm going to try to either put it a little closer to me or turn this so you can see. So that's what we're looking like so far. And I'll do the side here. And I do have my hair dryer here so I can uh, dry it so we can get to the transfers. Use day talk. What else do we want to talk about? Oh, I have something to talk about. Uh, we're getting some new products from Dixie Bell. And because I'm a premier retailer, I get to order them tomorrow. So they're new gilding waxes. Um, brand new gilding waxes, uh, four different colors. Uh, actually, these aren't gilding waxes. These are mousse. It's called mousse. Um, and they're they're really going to be pretty. I'm excited to get them. And we're also getting a new color of Boss. That's the primer um, that we have. And it's coming out in gray. We currently just have clear and uh, white. So now we'll have a gray, which is nice, because that's um, a great way to prime a piece to use light colors because sometimes even when you use oh I don't want to use this big I'll use a little bit of it here 
to get the paint off of it. Okay, I guess you can't see this very well, so I'll put it back down. But anyway, when you're painting something and you're getting ready to paint white um, and it's a darker color, the gray is perfect. Uh, it primes the piece for your whites. But it also blocks odors and stains because our paint will go right over any surface. But um, if you have something that it might bleed through, that's when you want to use Boss. But it does help you save on paint too because it primes it for you. I once painted a whole big cherry armoire and I painted it in driftwood, which is a real super light gray. And I only used one eight ounce jar because I used uh, the boss to prime it with first. This color is so pretty with black. Muscadine wine. This is not a color I usually have in my wardrobe, so it might be a new era here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a quiet painter tonight. But we're almost done here with this purse. And again, I do see just very little bit of the um, the pattern showing through. It's like kind of like a floral, but it's almost like a camo. But it's almost gone. <laughs> it was a good purse for me. It's held up well. Like I said, I used it all summer. It's a Nine West purse, so it's good, well made. but it's gonna have a whole new look now. <laughs> okay. And that's all that's left is the side. Apparently I didn't take, or I don't have enough stuff in it to keep it <laughs> standing straight, but. I thought it was rather full, but apparently not. So, boy, I'll recommend this. When we have the personalize it class, bring your purse full, and <laughs> then it'll automatically stand up for you. The reboot class is going to be fun, too. Really fun to wear a pair of uh, funky boots. Everybody's going to wonder where you got them, because that is very trendy right now to uh, get, like, floral boots. Okay, I think I've got this thing covered. Pretty much. Just gonna look at the seams and stuff. All right, and I keep a plastic bag 
So in between coats, I can put my brushes. Now I don't have to worry about them drying out. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to set this aside a minute so that um, it can dry a few minutes on its own. And then I, I will, I do have my hair dryer, so I can kind of uh, speed things up a little bit by, by drying it. And it really doesn't take long at all. Um, what, what, I, I like it already, even before any transfers. I really like that color. <laughs> It looks good. And we're gonna protect this too um, with some wax. So I, I have Dixie Bell's clear wax, but I'm gonna show you the transfers right now. So I have two here that we can take some from. I think it would look cool because of the black straps on here to maybe use some of the um, what's what I have left of this, which is called Paris Valley. Now it's very similar to the ones that I've been doing the labels with that I've had here. Um, but that's this one, I show you guys this all the time, but these um, little uh, label ones that I used, I think that transfer is called vintage labels. And boy, have I gotten my money's worth out of that. I. <laughs> have used it so many times. But the Paris Valley is a similar, it's just a larger scale. Um, but let's take a look and see what we've got here. So like I said, I've already used it a little bit, so I've kind of cut it up a little. So there's some text on there, so we can use some words. Um, more words <laughs> and some flowers here. And these are really large images and I have used a lot of them already on that buffet I'm working with. But look at the big flower. And then there's some smaller images. There's all kinds of cool stuff like onions and <laughs> um, and their proper names, their scientific names. Cruciferae. Mm, more words and flowers. Like I said, there's huge flowers on this one, but I've already harvested most of them. Here's part of one. Now see, what's cool about this is this came in two parts, but because I have the bottom of the purse, I could just use this whole image on one side. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I think that's one side, at least what I'm gonna do. Um, this is still drying here, but I'll go ahead and put these aside and cut a little bit. Um, definitely want that image. And just to caution you, see how that's coming apart there? Just keep them together. Because I had a mess the other day because I was working really fast and it's got stuck on itself. Uh, I lost a lot of transfer from the Paris Valley one and that was very, made me very sad. As you can imagine. So let me cut this big section out. Scissors here somewhere. I also like this big yellow flower too. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, I don't really want to hold this against here because it's still wet. 
So um, let's just take a quick look at the Paris Valley and see what's left of it um, and see if there's anything we want to use. I don't really want to make a mess, but I've got I've got stuff everywhere now. I've got the, the botanical transfer laying everywhere. So this is mainly words. Um, like I said, sort of like that vintage label one, only larger sections. So. That's what that's all about. So we might get some cool pieces out of this. I'm gonna look at that one a little bit more um, after we use the botanical one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the hairdryer and get this a little bit dry so we can move on with our process here. So pardon the noise. Give it up and let it dry. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Bad news, I think it's going to need a second coat. So we're going to speed things along here with the hair dryer. guess not too many people are blow drying their purse but can you see right there I see it on the, the screen but I think I'm gonna have to go over and give a second coat so let's just do what we did again but it didn't take real long so that's a good thing huh and my paint is here and my brushes are hiding from me. Oh, they're under my transfer. So I did get a new toy. I got this Super Bonder glue roll. This is a hot glue stick in a gigantic uh, roll. It's for uh, what is it? How long is it? I did read. Oh, it's five feet. Okay. So if I'm doing those molds, I won't have to worry about stopping to uh, refill uh, the glue gun. It'll just keep going in a continuous, continuous uh, stream. So I don't know whether you call it a stream or not, but. Okay, so here I go again, uh, painting, painting the purse again. So I'll put the screen down a little bit. 
And you know, the transfer probably would have covered a lot of this, but I would rather uh, do all the painting before I do the transfer. Just because um, I don't want to have to dry the, uh, use the hair dryer after the transfers are on. Then I'm going to wax everything. So I just would rather have all the painting underneath right before I get started with the transfer. Really, it takes so little paint. This is a gorgeous color. So it's almost time to start decorating for Christmas. We actually got um, Christmas trees for the store and we're gonna do one outside and one inside and some pretty things for our urns outside. So you will be surprised when you see our inside Christmas tree. It's very appropriate for 2020. <laughs> Okay, put that around here, get this side. So where we live, we're actually like really super close to our uh, polling place. So we literally walk out our back door through our yard and through the alley and we are there. <laughs> okay. Working on the other big side. Note to self, don't touch the purse after you paint it. <laughs> you just use the straps. And I also want to go back and look at the straps and make sure that I haven't gotten any paint on the straps. If I did so far, I'm pretty sure it's minimal. I may have gotten it on my shirt now. But I think I already had paint on this shirt anyway. There are very few clothes that I have. I have never gotten any paint on them. I'm excited to do the transfer. Yeah, this is getting the, the coverage. We're covering up that old pattern that I could see through.
I could never go buy this color of purse for myself, but I'm so happy that I picked it. I wanted to do, I'm doing that demo for tomorrow and I am doing some buffalo plaid and uh, muscadine wine. I think I, uh, we had an ornament class once and somebody picked this one and then they used black wax on it and it was just gorgeous. So that's why I thought about this color. And I just thought, well, I'll just grab one thing of paint for both projects and I'm happy that this is what I chose. As you see, this is going pretty quick. Okay. I'm gonna put my brushes back and then take a minute to um, go over the straps and make sure I don't have paint on them. Now we'll do a little more drying and then it's on to the fun part with the transfers. So you want to make sure it's good and dry because definitely transfers don't like to stick to surfaces when the paint is wet. This up a little bit. Ah. <laughs> Hot mess express. That's what that's what I am sometimes. No paint. No harm, no foul. Okay, I'm gonna grab a fresh white here. Alright, and then just taking a look at these straps. So make sure I don't have anything on them. Surprisingly I don't. It's kind of hard to know what to do with them, so. <laughs> A little bit over here. <laughs> Just gonna kind of put them inside. All right, so let me get the, the blow dryer here again and dry some more. It's looking good. I don't see any more of that pattern peeking through. Pardon the hair dryer noise. Have it on high. on the vinyl.
Almost done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Feels pretty good. It feels pretty. Uh, um, now this side's really warm because I just finished. Um, feels dry to me. I do have one of our transfer tools here. This is um, a redesign with Prima transfer tool. And we'll see here. All right, so this is the piece that I want to try to fit on the side here. And it seems like it's going to work. Now, I'm going to turn this around to face me so I can see what I'm doing. I'll put the screen down a little bit, um, and I'll turn it back to you here in a second. But I just need to see where to position this. I'm going to kind of lay it down a little bit just, just so I can get this at the bottom. I'm also going to trim... So at the bottom of the transfer, there's a line because this was it's supposed to meet up with another one. But I'm going to put that right down at the bottom of the seam. So I'm going to get rid of that so that we have no excess on the bottom of the transfer. That's going to start there, and then there's this lettering, but I think I'm going to run into my strap here. Yeah, you know, I might just miss it. Try to strategically place here. I actually think I'm going to miss it, which is cool. So, um, this... I'm just trying to get a visual as to where to place this. Trying to decide here so I, once I get the paper off the backing that I put it in the right place. Because really I'm just missing those. So I'm going to eyeball it and it's about a quarter inch from either side of my seam here. And I'm going to, I'm going to like put this down here. Actually, need to rearrange the contents of my purse a little bit so it's flatter. Okay, so I'm going to peel this backing off. And then really carefully position it. Sometimes with stuff like this, it'll grab... And once it grabs, you're kind of done. So I have it in a good position and missing the straps. Looks pretty good. So I'm going to do the best I can here to show you what I'm doing. But I'm going to start. <laughs> the contents in here may be not a good idea.
I don't know what it is that it, so I could move it, but seems like it's coming off pretty good, which is making me very happy. Keep your fingers crossed that it continues to do that. I love these transfer tools because they're so, they cover so much area. Every transfer comes with a stick that you can use. Okay. Make sure I'm not getting off the course here. weird working on this uneven surface. But like I said, it seems to be taking pretty good. I'm going to kind of hold it up here a minute so you can see what I'm doing. I really can't wait until I have over a thousand subscribers so I can go live from a device other than this laptop. <laughs> It'll be really, really nice. I mean, I do have that other camera that I can attach, but it doesn't have very good video. So this isn't the best either, but it's better than that. So just keep sharing these videos with your friends and asking them to subscribe and we'll get there. <laughs> Okay, I'm starting to peel this paper up a little bit. So you can see we're starting to get the transfer onto the purse. I'm going to try to hold it up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Sorry about all the noise. Paper rattling is like my least favorite thing. It's like my my big pet peeve. <laughs> so I hate it. It's <laughs> torture for me. Okay. Well, I guess we're okay here. So this is, a, even though it seems uneven, it's still a flat surface. Whereas like working with boots, you kind of have to do some trimming uh, and some slits in it just to make it lay flat. Taking my wallet out. <laughs> Not that there's anything in it that's uh, keeping it fat, but Takes a little patience, but we're getting there. I'm going to be walking around with a new purse tomorrow. And I didn't even have to switch it. Now, here's an area where it wasn't like the leaf is coming up. You just lay it back down and just work with it some more.
should have probably put a board or something in here to make it flat. <laughs> now that I think of that, but <laughs> maybe a little too late. I have my hand in here now, so it's giving me a little... It's funny, I can feel my lipstick and all that stuff in there. doing we're getting there There's some parts that didn't come up that are kind of wrinkled and some that kind of wore through, but I'm going to do the same thing that I do with furniture whenever that happens. We're actually going to sand it a little bit so that it looks very intentional, that it was meant to do that. So I'm going to lay this back down and just kind of go back over it a little bit more and flatten that stuff. So it just kind of looks a little distressed when that happens. But we do have some sandpaper here somewhere, I believe. So that kind of came apart there. But I still kind of like the way it looks. Hold this up a little so you can see. Okay. Um... So one thing that didn't happen, let me see if I can get it here, this section, so we totally missed that. So I'm going to lay this back down and work on this because I wanted those letters. Transferring, I can see. I'm actually kind of using the corner of this tool, but I think everything's transferred. Yeah, the one letter's a little, little messy, but again, we can kind of take the sandpaper and go over that a little bit because so we want to get rid of that halo anyway. Okay. I like it, I like it. Okay, now we have the other side to do. Um, and, boy, I really like this. It's different for a fall purse um, to have a floral, but I still, I think the color makes it fall. So I'm gonna take this big gold flower. And set this down here a second. And just uh, put the screen down a minute and show you while I cut this out. I don't particularly want to put vegetables on my purse. Now here's some script. We can use that, but I don't want it on the bottom because I don't think it'll be very noticeable. I don't know what kind of flower this is, but it's really cool. Okay, so we've got that. And then... I don't 
I don't know what that says. <laughs> um, but we can take this section. We can take this whole section. I think that'll all fit, maybe. We can always layer it kind of over the transfer, the other transfer as well. So let me, so again, here's what this side looks like. I have a few wrinkles in it, but I still haven't taken any sandpaper over it. Okay, I'm gonna lay this down and figure out, I don't want it like right in the middle and I want to miss the strap. Let's do that. Um, let's get the flower on there and then I want to get as close over here as I can so I miss the strap. Okay, so here we go again. Let's see what's in here this time. I think it's a little flatter. <laughs> okay. Here we go. The lines that are in this flower are kind of reddish, so they go really well with the background color, the muscadine wine. Know, it's almost kind of helpful that it's an uneven surface because it it just kind of grabs in those areas and you can see on the transfer when it gets real light you know that that's transferring so I don't know. sometimes you would think that to have it nice and flat would be a better situation but I seem to be doing okay. There's a uh, scotch tape on this transfer. They always tape them when they roll them up in the package, which I kind of wish they wouldn't do. Because right now it's interfering with my my rubbing of the transfer. Okay, we're getting there. Now, pretty well transferred with the leaf leaves and the stem. And voila. Okay. Looks pretty.
pretty good, huh? All right, I'm gonna lay it back down and position these words over that. I'm just gonna get it over here as far as I can. And then just it'll just kind of go right over the flower. Yeah, last time I did the letters, I kind of did better by using the corner of the tool. I knew what all these French words meant. a little of it it's okay because again it lends itself to that distressed kind of look You have to have some muscles of these transfers. That looks pretty good. So you can kind of see all the scratching that I did. Um, so I think the wax is going to help remedy that. Um, uh, I also... Just looking to see if I have a sandpaper here. Of all the things that I have here, you would think I'd have some sandpaper. Um, okay, I don't think I want to put anything on the sides. I kind of feel like this is enough. I should make sure, because it is my purse. I want to make sure I like it. And I do. Um, I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use some uh, paper here. Sometimes that's a trick to, to smooth something out if you don't have sandpaper. I just have some of this, again, I'm making really, some of this corner of this like brown paper bag. I'm just going to lay it down and just kind of 
burnish it some more. And distress it a little bit with this. Transfer was lifting up, so we want to make sure that we get it down. So I think what happened was it kind of made like a crease. I don't want to keep taking it off, but I also don't want it to come off. So I guess I should have this down. Let's see what I'm doing. See, it's kind of creased in here. And I don't think that's good to leave that way. So I'm going to pull a little bit of it up. And again, I don't want to do this, but I don't think it'll stay on if I don't. And that was me being quick and impatient. So. Said this stuff that's sticking up, I want to get rid of it. And it's okay, I think it just kind of looks cool, wrinkly, and distressed. I just don't want it to come off, so better take it off now than to have it wear off. Make it look like it was meant to be that way. Okay. Do the other side. side went on a lot easier. <laughs> it was flatter. All right, well, I'm going to start over here um, with, with wax. So I, I have the cream wax, best dang wax from Dixie Belle in clear, which looks white, but it goes on clear. And um, I'm just using this big brush and I'm just going over the whole, the whole purse, not just the transfer, but the whole purse. We want it to all have the same sheen. And I think I did not grab a rag or a paper towel. So if you'll excuse me just one moment, I shall be right back. Okay. 
Now I'm just taking the wax back off with the paper towel, just rubbing it in. You can see like some of the paint like come lifts up, but that's okay. It's just we're just making it really nice, very soft and supple. Just working that wax in, working it into the transfer and into the whole purse, all the surfaces. Flip it over and get the other side. I will get the sides too, but we're taking a look over here now that it's facing me. <laughs> oh, I love the way this looks. I really do. That took all that scratchiness um, from rubbing the, the words off. The wax did. Did a great job. Okay. And I'm not sure which is the best way for you to see. I'm anxious to see if I get compliments on my purse. <laughs> And then I can tell them, yes, you need to come to La Vintage Decor for a Thursday night class and bring your own purse and we will personalize it. Falling out of my purse. That makes such a difference, the wax. It just feels so nice all over and it looks so good. I love the way it looks. Okay, I'm going to grab these sides here real quick. Well, we've been on um, over an hour. Appreciate your patience. Fun little project. And the boots are fun, too. They're a little trickier, but um, they're fun. I really love this. Just love the way it looks. Like I said, not something I'd go out and buy. But then there's never been a purse exactly like this on the marketplace now. <laughs> And the best thing is I don't have to clean out my purse and switch out the contents because it's already done and I know where everything is. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining me tonight. And there's my beautiful purse. All right. Oh, again, if you uh, want to Look for transfers and Dixie Bell paints. 
you can go to levintagedecor.company or you can stop into the store if you're local. Stay tuned for Saturday for a step-by-step. And thanks for joining me. You have a great night.